second grade teachers. Let's introduce ourselves. I'm Melanie Kundup. Rita Jordan. Laura Pittman. Debbie Grant. Laura Nallen. Leslie Moore. Tara Gobert. So good to you guys. I know, it's so good to be back. We've been excited yes. to share our second grade view with our parents and we're excited to be here today. And we're going to go ahead and get started with just kind of an overview of the year and what we have planned for your students this year. It's going to be a great year. Okay, well, let's start with classroom routines. So the very first thing is we're going to go ahead and um, when you first arrive in the morning, we're going to go ask you to come at 720, um, not before, because teachers are getting into the school. Um, and... Um, we're also going to talk about how students are allowed into the building at 7.30 and into their classroom at 7.30 as well, all the way up until 7.45. So at 7.45 we start our morning work and that's until about 8. Students are expected to unpack, sharpen pencils, write down homework, and use the restroom all before 7.45 and in order to start our day off on the right foot. Yeah. Um, dismissal, we line up at about 2.30 and then at, we are outside by 2.45. That's pretty much how the day starts with our timing. Yeah. yeah that's good. And it's going pretty well, wouldn't you guys it's, think? It's, it's, it's going well. well. It's, it's, it's great, though, when the kids do get there on time, don't you yes. think? Because they yeah. don't have to send two students down. Two students down to the hall. Right. Right. They, miss, they, miss, yeah. Yeah. they miss their morning work. Yeah. They miss their morning yeah. work. And it's a little later. We have to send students down. So we really like to have the students ready for their day at 745 in the classroom. Right. Also, if, if, if a student knows they're going to get checked out, if you know your student's going to get checked out, if you could let us know, we can have their yeah. work ready, we can yeah. have them mm -hmm. kind of packed up, especially if we're at recess. We don't have to wait as long. Too, right, and then you yeah, 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 that's don't have to wait as long yeah. in the front of the I do have to say, I'm super proud of how the kids have done with all the changes this school year. Yeah. Um, they've, I'm just, great. they've just really done a great yeah. job coming in and just... You know, making the best of all the different changes that have been going on. So, as you can see here, all the teachers have their own personal style and flair, and so that means that classroom management is a little bit different for each of us. Um, <laughs> classroom management and rewards. So, my suggestion would be just to kind of flip through this student handbook, have your child be aware of what makes them a good citizen here at BCS, and just the basic rules of being respectful to us as teachers, the mutual respect there, as well as respect for other students. Um, and this beautiful, amazing building that we it have, and yes. all the facilities that we're able to right. use. So the courtyard is so nice. Yeah. Such a privilege. We're so yes. lucky to have we such are. a beautiful place to learn. So exciting this year to see mm -hmm. the gym and all the things that, that we have. I mean, can I interrupt just for a second? Yeah. Um, one thing I was thinking about is we, we haven't talked about the e-learners. And those same rules go for the e learners yes. Yes. Yeah. coming yes. on and muting themselves and being respectful for the of the teachers and the you know the, the property of teens yes. which has you know we have wonderful things with this, right. pro this yes. program but we have to be respectful of the class people that are in the class yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Yes. we want the best learning experience really yeah. all the way around for the students at home and in class and absolutely being yes. able to mm -hmm. you know follow those mm -hmm. things makes it an easier especially since most of us are hybrid yeah yes so all right so what about curriculum well I'm gonna get us started on curriculum I'm gonna be talking about our reading curriculum for this year now we all do have different styles and flair, but we're also following the same guidelines. So we use the second grade Florida State Standards for reading, math, and listening and speaking. So we all follow that. And we also use Journeys and iReady mm -hmm. and some supplemental material like LearnZillion. Um, and we'll be doing some exciting novel studies. I know some of us already oh, got yes. started. Yes. 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 Tales of Despero, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Did I say that right? So we're having a blast. And, lemonade more. Ooh, lemonade yeah. more. One of my favorites. And so they love doing novel studies because they get to read and learn how to read these longer chapter books, which is really good for them. And we ask them comprehension questions, which is preparing them for third grade. Yeah. So just stay tuned for more novel studies and more exciting stuff than reading. Um, I think Rita is going to start us off with curriculum for math. Do you want to talk yes, about that? Yes, math is just as exciting as reading. We are <laughs> learning some yeah. wonderful things and as uh, Lauren said that we are using the same state standards across the board. Um, 
we do do daily skill practice to make sure they you know remember what they learned in first grade as long as well as the things they're learning in second grade um, also we have lessons um, skill lessons pretty much every day and review where necessary and homework that supports that skill the number one thing that needs to be pretty solid by now, I would say, ladies, I would say, would be their um, sex. Yes. Their sex. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. And um, it should be in a reasonable time manner. There's extra math uh, program online um, to help you with that. We can help you get connected to that if you need so need that. Also, we'll be doing like daily quizzes on the sprints or yeah. those kind of things to make sure and they that love those. they love those. They do. They do. See how fast they can get. Yeah. 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 Be the, the personal top. best. Yeah. They, yeah. Do. they yeah. enjoy they them. Do. They do. Be the They're first really one done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With correct answers. Math <laughs> yeah. is a very correct score. Good point. Um, correct um, yeah. subject. The other thing is um, there, there's other ways, fun ways to learn math um, centers, puzzles. We do brain teasers. Um, we give you different websites. So there's a lot of fun. And the big, big deal is at the end of second grade when we learn, start learning fractions and multiplication and division to get oh, them prepared yes. for yeah. third grade. Yeah. That's yeah. Just so yeah, anxious ready. to get there. Mm -hmm. The other extra thing that we have this year is we have a math activity that um, comes around for a week in our class every eight weeks and we get to learn a little more math in a fun and different way. So the kids are getting a lot of math there, and being yeah. a STEAM school, that's important. I, I, I heard the math activity teacher is phenomenal. I yeah. think he's pretty uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty good. Yeah. She might, oh, she she might favor Coach Reddy. I favor him a little bit. Just a tad. Uh, just right? a tad. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Red is my husband, in case you know. <laughs> so, yes, um, he's he's doing a great job, and I think yes. he's yes. really, yes. and I'm not just saying that. But they I think it. the kids are loving they it. Do. Yeah. He so, really makes math fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it is. It can yeah. be. It can okay. Be. Yeah. So off to social studies yeah, with Tara. What do we have, what what do we have going on? on? Well, we have a lot of good stuff going on in social studies, which is actually one of my favorite subjects. Yeah. yeah. Because, <laughs> yes, because history repeats itself, right? So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. how else are we supposed to learn? Yes. Right. So uh, we'll be we'll be following the next generation standards, um, which are the, the Florida standards. Um, and we'll cover topics such as physical geography, civics and government, citizenship, economics, culture in the United States and other countries. Um, and we also use Studies Weekly along with other resources that we kind of find on our own or come up with together as a team. Um, uh, in addition, we'll also be implementing the Cambridge Global Perspectives uh, program this year. Um, and you'll find out more information about that in the upcoming weeks. That's going to be really exciting. Yeah, yeah. Really That's exciting. Exciting. Yeah. planning That's some really, really, yeah. really, yeah. really exciting. exciting things this year. Yeah, the Cambridge, the Cambridge Global Perspectives is new this year. And as we get closer to launching that, we'll get more information out. So yeah. 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 That's really exciting. Perfect. So, Thanks, Tara. What else goes hand in hand with social studies? Is science. Science. Yeah. science. Kids, the kids love science. Let me tell oh, you. Yeah. They love science. Right now, we're working on rocks and minerals, and they're all wanting to bring in rocks. And I've got some different rocks, and we're all sharing some supplies. Um, we have got some exciting things we're learning this year with science. We're going to do some weather and learning about matter, changes in matter, energy, and um, plants, animals, and habitats. It's kind of fun. Sometimes we'll do like a diorama with a habitat. That's really an exciting project. Space, rocks and minerals, what we're working on now. I'm sure you've been hearing your kids talking about that. And the human body, which is really exciting. So we also have, as um, Rita's talked about, the, the rotation for STEAM. And Ms. Diedrich comes around and even does more science with them, which they love building and doing some different experiments. So that is um, science, technology, engineering, art, and math is what encompasses the STEAM um, program. So um, they love it. If you hear about asking for donations, sometimes Ms. Diedrich might ask for some donations for some supplies or the teachers we might if we're working on things with soil or seeds or things like that, so. And they really are used and in, in, she does great things. She does, she, she does. really does she great things. Really cool yeah. stuff. So yeah. kids are so excited. They are, they are. You'll see some things coming out. Yeah, yeah. 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 The boot. Right. Remember the boot? The uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that's it's really exciting. So next, Debbie's going to tell us a little bit about homework. Oh, yes. It's your all exciting homework. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. I think the main thing about homework that we all can agree on is that it's just an extension of what's going on in our classrooms. Right. And 
We don't expect parents to teach or reteach. We do want to say that if your student is struggling with some homework, to just go ahead and write us a note and say, yep. you know, Johnny really wasn't able to do this on his yep. own. And so we'll take it from there. Uh, homework should equate to about 20 minutes of reading, extra reading every night. And I, we do want to just emphasize that students that read 20 minutes extra every night do way better on state assessment. So that's so, so important for them to. I know we've seen that over and over yeah, every yeah, year. Yeah, and, and on top of that, it's 25 minutes of either additional math, reading, um, whatever the, the teacher has assigned. So, you know, we, this could be digital. I know some of us are doing it digitally. Right. Some of us are doing it, you know, where the kids are writing it all out. So basically, um, homework is just an extension of what we're doing in class. And we don't want to overburden the students just to go over review of what's going on. So, uh, so we have an exciting year coming up. Um, we do. So, you know, we have a different year for sure. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we're so thankful for our second grade parents and their we are. continued Thank support you. and yes. cooperation. They're awesome. Making this, you know, as a team together, working together. And uh, we are an awesome. amazing yes. team. Awesome our team. team. Love our team. Love our team. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, if you have any additional questions, um, feel free to reach out to any of us at any time. But we thank you again. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to enjoy the happy day.